what's going on guys in this video I just wanted to show you guys three microphones that allow me to shoot with versatility now these microphones are all Boya brands and I'm not sponsored by them nor am I endorsed by them I would love to be I mean Boya give me a call I do buy a lot of your brands so if you'd like to endorse me I'm your guy it is important that when it comes to making videos that you also care about how your audio sounds there's no point having great video if you don't have decent audio quality it is decent to use the audio from the camera however if you're trying to step up your audio game then you're going to need an external microphone now the three microphones that I have here are all Boya brands I thought they were going to be inferior to something like a Rode, Rode or Shaw or Sennheiser things like that however these are actually very decent microphones and the audio quality that I get from them is very decent now the reason why I've also gone with Boya they are a much affordable option comparing it to something like say Rode now I'm not hating on Rode because at the moment for this uh, scene right here I'm actually using the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus now I have to say that it is an outrageously priced microphone I mean, yes, it is a great microphone. I will say that and I will be honest about it. It's a great microphone. It has great features and it gives you that 20 decibel increase if you need it. So yes, it is a great microphone. But do you really need to buy something that expensive when you have other options out there? It may not give you the, the exact same sound quality, but it's going to give you something extremely decent and very comparable. But the truth is, when you want audio quality, are you looking for the absolute best or are you looking for something that will suffice? And if you're just looking for something that will suffice, I'm telling you that any of these three options are absolutely amazing. Now the first one I wanted to show you is this one right here, the Boya Shotgun Microphone, which is the Boya BYMM1. This is a great little shotgun microphone if you're just going to vlog with and if you're going to be close to the camera. However, if you're going to be a bit further away, you would probably need either a wide microphone like this Boya BYM1. Now this microphone comes with a 6 meter long cable. And the great thing about this microphone is even though it uses a little L LR44 battery inside here which you just twist off. Okay, you just twist it off and then there is a battery in here. Okay, so I've got the battery out now. You just need a little mini screwdriver in order to remove it. And in order to install it, you have a positive symbol on top here. Simply slide the battery in and press it in. And now you're ready to use the microphone. You can use it for any platform from PC to smartphone to camera, any of those options. It gives you a switch that you can flick in order to go from camera to smartphone. The audio jack on it is actually a TRRS which has three lines. However, once you flick it to camera, it pretty much reads like a TRS with just two lines on it. And now that's amazing because when I first got this microphone, I thought to myself, I wanted to use it for the GoPro, but how can I use it for the GoPro if the GoPro only reads TRS? But then to my surprise, once I flicked it to camera and then plugged it into the GoPro, it allowed me to use it even though it is a TRS connection. I believe it has something to do with once you flick this switch, it must ground off one of the points meaning that it's pretty much reading like a TRS cable. That's the conclusion that I have come to because I cannot understand why it is possible to use a TRS cable with the GoPro when the GoPro really only accepts TRS, which is a audio jack with only two lines. This has three lines. It is a great microphone. You have extreme length on it, six meters guys, six whole meters. So even if the camera was a little bit further away, you could simply plug it into the camera and then run your cabling around you and then come up through your shirt and then have your lavalier microphone simply connected right here. And that would give you great audio. It also comes with a microphone jack, the bigger one, which is a male 6.35mm audio jack and then it has a female 3.5mm port on the other side of it. And with the Boya, all you get is the the Boya itself and then the uh, the detachable the, the detachable cable as well as another one for smartphones which has 
a TRS connection on one side, male, and then a TRS connection on the other side, so you can plug it into your smartphone and use it for your smartphone. Because if you didn't know, cameras will use um, a TRS audio jack, and things like smartphones and PCs and laptops that have a single audio jack that shares both the headphones as well as the microphone will use a TRRS. And that's the difference. Hence why they give you two types of cables so that if you wanted to use it for a specific product, then you would have to switch the audio cable around. And it even shows you on here that the TRS side is for your microphone and the TRRS side is for your smartphone. So that's very handy also for the shotgun microphone, which is the biggest difference with this Lavalier microphone because it only comes with one connection type, but the fact that it has a switch on it allows you to go from camera to smartphone with just a flick of a switch right here. And last but not least, this is a superb microphone. This is the Boya BYWM6. It is a long range wireless microphone. This is a great microphone. It has a compander for high quality and clear sound. It has 48 UHF channels, a mic as well as a line in. It's easy to use with a display, selectable mute function, camera mountable receiver, monitoring sound by headphone output, meaning that you can plug in a set of headphones and listen to the audio that is coming out of it so you can monitor your audio live, what it sounds like as you're recording. And it also includes a XLR output cable, stereo mini plug cable. So that's good if you're trying to use it for like a, a guitar or some other solo um, audio device. It also uses AA batteries in each device because there are two as you can see. This reaches up to 100 meters which is about 300 feet without obstacles. That means there shouldn't be anything between you and the receiver and the transmitter. However, it will still work. However, you're going to get some interference. Now let me show you exactly what you get and what it looks like. Okay, so this is the box that you get. It is a great little uh, carry box. You get your manual. And now this is the lavalier microphone you get. And the cool thing about this microphone is that you have a little screw piece. So once you plug it in, you can secure it so that it never accidentally unplugs. Unlike some of the old lav microphones that I had that were very inexpensive, they were poor quality, you didn't have this option to screw it in. What you do here is you plug it in your microphone, right? And then you turn it, you twist it in so that even if you accidentally jerk on it, yank on it, it will never come out. So that's crazy, that's awesome. Okay, and this is the transmitter. And the transmitter has a little antenna, and it's also got your belt clip on the back, which you can remove, it's totally up to you. And then you also have a line in as well. You have your, your set button, which you can set your, and then your power button. So you simply press the power button, hold on to it, and it will turn on. And then you have your set button, which when you press it, you can change the volume of the transmitter or the receiver, giving you more volume, uh, more gain, meaning that your audio will come through higher or lower. And then you can set it. It's got a positive and negative on each side as well. So you can press the set button and it will go to volume. So you can just simply set your volume and your channels and then you have up to 48 channels. So that's just amazing in case somebody in the area happens to be using a wireless microphone as well. You can simply look for a clear channel and then record using that channel. Also, if you press on the power button just once, it will mute the microphone, meaning that it will cancel out any noise that comes through the microphone. So that's a great option also. It gives you your battery meter on the screen as well. And then you have your batteries in the side right here. You simply press on these two, these two levers here. You see these two levers right there? You simply press on those and then you have your two batteries that just simply come out like that. And then to reinstall it, you just press it in and it clips back in. And that's a great transmitter. Honestly, it is a great transmitter. And then you also get your receiver. The best thing about this receiver is you have a quarter inch thread, meaning that you can simply just mount it to the top of your camera if it has a hot shoe or a cold shoe, and then go from there. From here, once you have it connected, you can simply mount it to your hot shoe of your camera. And that's it, there you go. So from here, all you'd have to do is hook up your mic port so you plug that in there and then this would simply 
plug into your output and it also has a screw that allows you to secure it so that it can never accidentally unplug and look at that isn't that a great setup I think that's just great and then I would plug this in and I would turn it on make sure you're on the exact same channel so channel 6 you can set your volume turn this on they're both on channel 6 right now that's it once you hit record this would transmit your audio through and you'd get great sounding audio for the demonstration I'm going to show you what it sounds like without a microphone and then what it sounds like with a microphone then plugged in every camera is going to differ depending on the quality of audio that it has built in but keep in mind that at the moment I am using the Canon EOS M50 with a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus so that's probably why the audio sounds pretty good at the moment now I'm going to unplug the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus the first demonstration I'm going to do is the wireless microphone and just to show you uh, what it sounds like without a microphone and then what it's like with the wireless microphone plugged in also show you a little bit of range just to give you an example of just how much range you have with the wireless microphone and I'll also switch to the wired microphone and lastly the shotgun microphone so let's do that but this is what the Canon EOS M50 sounds like with built-in audio I'm not using any external microphones at the moment this is audio direct from the camera testing testing one two testing testing this is the audio coming out of the Canon EOS M50 without an external microphone plugged in now this is what it's going to sound like with a wireless microphone now depending on where you position the microphone will give you clearer sound hopefully you'll be able to hear that coming through the video testing testing one two testing testing As you can see it's just in my back pocket now now I'm going to give you an idea of just how much range you get and there's my beautiful little dog and now I will walk to the end of my driveway and show you that it can still give you decent quality sound okay so now I'm walking to the end of the driveway testing testing one two testing 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 one two testing 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 one two testing testing so now I'm at the end of my driveway as you can see the transmitter is still just in my back pocket and now there is a brick wall here I'm just going to walk past it a bit and just see how the range works still so now I'm completely out of camera view testing testing one two testing testing I'm completely out of view at the moment so in other words the so pretty much this is how it can sound from about say 30 40 meters away it's nowhere near 100 meters yet and now I'm going to turn up the volume at the moment it is set to 22 I'm going to go up to maximum and just give you an idea of just how loud your audio can get I press set and now it's on volume 22 23 24 mind you I'm just talking with my face pointed straight volume 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 and then 32 now that's maximum it's probably going to sound a little bit annoying so I'm just going to go back down to volume 22 I'm just going to put the uh, transmitter back in my back pocket because that's pretty much where you're going to um, use it so that just gives you an idea of how this wireless transmitter works and that's my good doggy she just stays right there very good girl okay and now I'm walking back towards the camera I'm pretty sure you can see this just to give you an idea of how great this wireless microphone really is so as you could see there this wireless microphone can transmit that far away without any trouble at all so you know it's a great microphone for a hundred dollars which is what I bought it for I'm now seeing it for like a hundred and fifty and two hundred dollars even but I can't believe that I found this for only a hundred dollars that's an amazing bloody price for a wireless microphone that can do what it does that is the test of the Boya BYWM6 wireless microphone so once again this is the audio directly from the Canon EOS M50 without a microphone plugged in and now I'm going to plug in the Boya BYM1 wired microphone and let's just see how this sounds I'm going to plug it in right now we'll switch it to camera first as you can see 
you have camera and smartphone. So we want to switch it to camera. And you plug it in, it's plugged in now. Okay, this is now the Canon EOS M50 with the Boya BY-M1 wired microphone plugged in. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, 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 one, two, testing, testing. Now, like I said before, it all depends on how you position your microphone as well. As Because if I talk directly into it like this, then you're going to get clearer sound. However, that's not going to be the case with a lav microphone. But these are omnidirectional microphones, so they will pick up sound all around. However, you do notice that if I talk directly into the, the camera like so, you're going to get clearer sound. But even with, with just talking directly facing the camera like so, you're still going to get decent. It doesn't really matter. If you want to position it closer towards your face, that's probably going to be a, a better option. But as we all know, lavalier microphones normally just clip to your top and it will still pick up good audio. No one's really going to talk down like this while they're trying to film something. They're normally going to face directly straight. This is the exact same way that I was talking when I was on the wireless microphone. So this is just an example of how the Canon EOS M50 sounds like with the Boya BY-M1 wired microphone. Now we're going to go with the shotgun microphone, what it's like directly on top of the Canon EOS M50. So let's do that. Once again, this is what the Canon EOS M50 sounds like without a external microphone, simply using the built-in audio. And now we're going to plug in the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone with a wind muff. Then I'll plug that in now. It's plugged in. Now, this is what the Canon EOS M50 sounds like with the Boya BY-MM1 shotgun microphone with a wind muff. Directly placed on top. Testing, testing. One, two, testing, testing. I'm about a meter away from the camera, maybe just a little bit less, just to give you a rough idea of how far I am from the camera. This is why it's so important to have an external microphone for your camera in order to get great sound quality, or at least decent sound quality. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. And now I'm going to show you what the GoPro Hero 7 sounds like without a microphone and then with all these microphones as well. So now I have the Rode Video Mic Pro microphone plugged back in you probably hear that it's a lot better sound quality compared to these but honestly it's pretty much about the same quality honestly i i can't really tell that much of a difference however i haven't fully gotten used to every single feature of the video mic pro plus just yet i am still learning about it maybe i will have to tweak it a little bit in order to get the best sound quality possible however for what i'm using it for at the moment it is a great microphone yes i will say that however honestly by testing all these other cameras, do you really need something that expensive? Now, I'm going to test what the GoPro Hero 7 sounds like without a microphone and then show you what it sounds like with a microphone. Okay, so here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. This is what the GoPro Hero 7 sounds like with the built-in microphone. Okay, now plug in the microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. This is what the GoPro Hero 7 Black sounds like with an external microphone using the mic adapter because obviously you need the mic adapter in order to get sound from the GoPro, in order to add a, an external microphone to the GoPros. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. And now we're going to go with the Boya wired microphone and plug that into the GoPro and see how that sounds. Let's make sure to switch the camera. Okay. Once again, this is what the GoPro Hero 7 sounds like without an external microphone. Now I'm going to plug in the Boya wired microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. This is what the GoPro Hero 7 Black sounds like with an external microphone plugged in, the wired Boya BYM1 plugged in with the mic adapter of course testing testing one two testing testing so as you can see the sound quality gets so much better as soon as you add an external microphone and these are extremely cheap and affordable external microphones just to show you my setup on the actual Canon this is my setup right here okay this is it this is exactly how I use my setup for the for the Canon EOS M50. 
as you can see we have the Rode VideoMic Pro on top this is normally how I film with however this is the audio from the Boya wired microphone here we go this is my setup it is a decent setup yes it is I will admit normally I don't have the wireless microphone if, if I was just going to use the wireless microphone I wouldn't have the road on it however because I use this Ulanzi P3 mount PT3 mount I'm able to mount three individual accessories and then I also have the cold shoe mounts on this light as you can see here there's a cold shoe mount there a mount there and also another mount on the bottom so I'm able to add even more accessories and there you go this is what the GoPro sounds like with the wired microphone lastly I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the wireless microphone with the GoPro Hero 7 okay so this is what the GoPro Hero 7 black sounds like without an external microphone plugged in and as you can see right now I'm holding the wireless microphone it's hooked up to me ready to go I'll turn it on channel 6 and now I put this in my pocket again okay and then this is the wireless microphone attached to this camera I'm just gonna leave it attached to this for now same principle and then this is the cable and I'm gonna plug it into the GoPro now and you're going to see what it sounds like okay now it's plugged in here's the cable it's plugged into the GoPro and there you go this is what the GoPro Hero 7 black sounds like with the wireless microphone plugged in testing testing one two testing 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 one two testing testing and there you have it guys that's exactly what the wireless microphone sounds like of course using the mic adapter there you have it guys that's just an example of why it is important to have an external microphone in order to get decent sounding quality from your videos that's what the Canon EOS M50 sounds like without a microphone and then with each of these in individual microphones connected and also what the GoPro Hero 7 Black sounds like without a, an external microphone and then the type of sound you can get once you add the mic adapter and each of these individual microphones so I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you did please smash that like button thank you very much for watching I hope this video was very helpful to you guys and I will leave a link in the description below where you can get these three items from. They may not be the same prices that I bought it from. However, they will be within that range, except for maybe the wireless microphone. I got this for a bargain. I can even show you how much I got it for, as you can see in the corner here. That is a screenshot of my eBay account when I bought the microphone. And I only paid just under $100 for it. Now, that's 100 Australian dollars, guys. So that's only about 70 US dollars. Now, that is a steal. So, until next time guys, thanks very much for watching, and don't forget, be sure to enter the, the draw to win 100 Australian dollars, which I will be announcing April 12th, 2019. Good luck to everyone, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike, Mikey's vlog.